Good day to you ladies and gents, today we are analyzing the classroom strategies involved in blended learning. But first, have you heard about the gossip involving butter? Never mind, I shouldn't spread it. Welcome class. For the next few days we will be learning observational methods used for research. I am hoping this year we will have the entire class get 100% on definitions. As you can see it is a pretty standard setup of a classroom. Students sitting in their desks or facing the instructor. Let's check in on class as content starts to be introduced. This class we will be focused on the surveys. What are different type of survey questions? Well let's start by getting down all our definitions for understanding surveys. As you can see, on the third day of class students are starting to disconnect with the class. They need a blended learning experience. Let's observe a segment of the lesson. What are some patterns that we are noticing with the data on day two of research? I started to notice that the way we phrase our questions we tend to get different responses. I think we are going to try using a Likert scale in our next survey. Great idea. We are about to transition to your next station. Today's tech station is an ed puzzle reviewing the differences between correlation and causation. After our red puzzle activity it is clear we need to make sure our graphs represent our data. We have about 5 minutes left to construct a graph of at least one correlation. The blended learning experience allowed for students to collaborate and personalize their research. Thanks for taking the time to partake in our story. Cheerio.